right, if you're trying to eat healthier in 2023, a big part of that is making sure you get the right nutrients. Yeah, joining us now with her list of nutrients that you need in the new years and easy ways to get them is registered uh, dietitian uh, Carolyn Williams. And nice to have you with us, back with us anyway. Let's Hi, jump. good to see y'all. Hi, well, let's talk about what this first nutrient you think that people need and how we can get it because it's good to kind of start the new year <laughs> off right. Okay, number one is magnesium. Mm -hmm. Magnesium is needed for over 300 different reactions in our body. It plays a role in regulating blood sugar, blood pressure, um, your neurotransmitters that in, uh, impact your mental health and thinking and cognition. It also fights inflammation and it aids in sleep and stress management. Uh, lower intakes are associated with a higher risk of depression too but Americans only get about half of what they need each day. So you're load up on magnesium rich sources, your nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, cashews, almonds, beans, all of your different bean varieties, and then other foods that have some magnesium, spinach, peanut butter, and yogurt. All right, so the next nutrient you recommend is vitamin D. Now most people just think, oh, I'll just go outside, spend some time under the sun, but is that actually enough? Right. We never really worried about vitamin D until the past 10, 15 years or so. Um, but what research suggests is that while most of us don't have deficient levels of vitamin D, uh, we do have suboptimal levels and we aren't making enough with our sun exposure. For one, most of our skin and beauty products contain UV protectants, which is mm. great to prevent skin cancer, but those also block some of the UV rays that are needed to form vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Also, we're not outside as much, particularly in the winter. Um, so you really need to look for food sources of vitamin D. And this is one where you may even want to consider a supplement because food sources are really few and far between. Your fatty fish, like your trout, salmon, sardines, some mushrooms, and then like fortified milk or orange juice. But it's really hard to get enough. So this is one uh, vitamin that I recommend people talk to their doctor about to potentially supplement. So you also talk about omega-3 fatty acids, and I, I, we're hearing more and more about those recently, so important for so many reasons. What are some of those reasons that people should know about? Yeah, well, the two that I'm really big on are EPA and DHA. These are two of the most powerful um, omega-3s. They exert powerful anti-inflammatory effects in the body, particularly when it comes to your brain health, like your thinking, your processing, your focus and your mental health and wellness. And most Americans don't get nearly enough of what they need. Levels are, our intake is really low. Your best sources are gonna be your cold water fatty fish. So again, like your salmon, your tuna, your mackerel, your trout, but also some oysters are a great source. And then seaweed and algae can also be a great vegetarian source. All right, so Carolyn, let's talk about uh, probiotics. This is usually something many people take in the mm -hmm. form of a pill, but tell us about some of the foods that we can actually ingest and can you have yeah. too much? So research suggests that getting probiotics that are naturally found in some foods is appears to be a more effective way to restore your gut and boost your gut health. You're getting those probiotics and you're getting multiple strains of those probiotics through foods. And you're also getting nutrient dense, um, nutrient dense compounds like fiber in there as well, which can boost, further boost gut health and boost the effect of the probiotics. So I really encourage people to try to just look for maybe one little way that they can add some kind of probiotic rich food. Your best sources are going to be yogurt, some cottage cheeses. You want to make sure it says it has cultured um, in, the, in the ingredient list, kombucha, kimchi, tempeh, sauerkraut and some pickled or fermented vegetables. If you don't eat these things on a regular basis, then start slow mm -hmm. um, or to avoid any kind of digestive, you know, upset sure, or bloating, sure. but you can, you can gradually work your way up. All right, Carolyn, thank you so much. This is a, a nice way to start off 2023 with information. That's what we want. It just needs some information, right? And if people are looking for more or they want to purchase your uh, book, Meals That Heal, One Pot, go to carolynwilliamsrd.com.